The next match, the last man standing match of John Cena against Bray Wyatt. This is a feud that must end. I know that with the upcoming Money in the Bank pay-per-view, more than likely we'll see both of these guys chasing after the magical briefcase hanging above the ring. I can only hope that this is not a four-match series. Going into WrestleMania, people had a whole bunch of hopes for this matchup. People were thinking that John Cena would uh, not be able to overcome and lose to Bray Wyatt, and that would push Bray Wyatt to the next huge superstardom of uh, becoming the biggest wrestler there is in wrestling today. Basically, Bray Wyatt lost the match, and it was just like I thought it would be. I thought if Super Cena showed up with his big Super Cena cape and won because it was WrestleMania, basically, no one was going to care about this anymore. They went in and they had a horrible match at Extreme Rules. Uh, using a steel cage match where basically, you know, John Cena's big tactic was to try to get outside of the cage and him not trying to do anything he can do to win that match just threw it away from me. And people that are saying that I'm saying that Cena did not try to win. I'm saying that John Cena climbed up over the top of the cage and because of the one fact that Luke Harper was on the outside with a steel chair, I apologize, it was Eric Rowan, was outside with a steel chair, Cena climbed back over the cage and jumped in. When everything in, in uh, basically, in wrestling, you know, knowledge says that if somebody jumps from the top of the cage, they're going to knock the person down. We've seen guys go to the top rope, jump out of the ring, into a sea of nine, ten guys, and all of them fall down. <laughs> whatever, whatever happens. Cena could have easily dropped down, got on Rowan, not got hit by the chair, won the match, and overcome all that is wrong <laughs> in the WWE with the, uh, the Wyatt family. Brainwashing the kids. But instead, the match ends basically with uh, the lights going out after the white music, and then a John Cena fan in a sheep mask singing, he's got the whole world in his hands. To the fact that John Cena can't go out of the cage because he's so shocked at what he's seen, and he walks right into the Sister Abigail for the one, two, three. It was a very sort of different ending, one that I've never seen before, and going into the last man standing match, we're not going to see a crappy ending like that. Seeing how most last men standing matches end with some sort of a gimmick, it's going to be a gamble to see what they do do to it. Uh, if you do not know where the last man standing match is, basically, there are no pinfalls, there are no submissions, no countouts or disqualifications. It's just beat the other guy up for as long as possible, and once you stop beating him up, he has to be able to not answer the 10 count from the referee, much like it would be like in a boxing match where they're just throwing left and right, just boom, boom, boom. And if the guy goes down, then the little Mario guy comes out there like he's counting little Mac down after he basically Mike Tyson just super KO'd him. Just like that. I don't know. It's not like John Cena's never lost one of these matches, but we all know that John Cena, the hustle, the loyalty, and the respect is never going to take one of these and just sort of lose on his own. You know, there's lots of other guys that can just sort of take somebody's finisher and be down for the count, but John Cena is going to have to be ran over with a semi truck full of Wyatt fans in order to not be able to t answer that 10 count in my mind. I know that he is 3-2, and two and we have gone over those matches in other uh, uh, videos, mostly seeing how you know he lost to Edge because of Big Show, and he lost to, Val to Alberto Del Rio because of Miz and R-Truth a few years ago. So, you know, it's not that hard. If Miz and R-Truth are able to make John Cena lose one of these matches, Eric Rowan and Luke Harper are going to have a big part in this match. And I know that, you know, we've seen John Cena have his boys, the Usos, coming out with him on Monday Night Raw the last few weeks. But I'm hoping that that's just not going to be enough to even up the score here. Um, more than likely, how I'm praying, please let this be the last match in this series of matches. Let them go in a different direction. I know that when this comes down, I know that 
WWE hopefully is going to have a big moment for the end of this to where basically basically Cena says, I'm going to go fight this other guy and Bray says, I'm going to go fight this other guy and knowing how, you know, Cena's going to be around forever. Bray Wyatt is new to the scene. He seems to be a guy who's going to catch on. I don't know if he's going to be the new Undertaker or if he's going to be the new Kane or if he's going to be that kind of a role, but it seems to me that, you know, He's going to be a guy that's going to be in the future. This is not going to be the last matchup of John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. More than likely, we'll never see them swap roles. How you see a lot of guys, how they have babyface versus heel matches, and then the next time you see them wrestle a year later down the road, you know they've switched roles to where one's the heel now and the other one's the babyface. But uh, uh, I don't know. I just I want to pick Bray to win this match because I want the best for Bray. But then again, I knew if he didn't win at WrestleMania, it was just going to be all downhill from there. Where the Wyatts go from here after stepping up to the plate to the biggest superstar in WWE and not being able to deliver winning the series of matches, I got no clue. But I'm only hoping those writers are in their corners because they are some of the most intriguing and the most sort of standout characters there are on WWE TV today. I know we've seen guys come and go, but I'm hoping the Wyatts are a big part of the future. That's why I'm hoping that Bray Wyatt is going to get the win at payback against John Cena in the last man standing match.